have a number of divisions represented here that all touch different parts of DC. And DC Comics and DC Entertainment is a very broad group of IP. We're here uh, representing the uh, Batmobiles. Uh, we manage a lot of the fleet from Warner Brothers assets. And we built the Batman vs Superman car, which is later modified to be the Justice League car. From the beginning, we have the Val Kilmer car, which was in Batman Forever. It's uh, of the three cars. It's certainly the most clearly like tied to the comic book. Still, it's got much more of a comic feel. And then we go from there to the Dark Knight Tumbler, the Christian Bale car. And then we also have the uh, the Justice League car set up to coincide with the release of the the uh, Justice League DVD which is by far the most militarized of all of the Batmobiles. The Batmobiles are really important to us, um, especially as marketing executives, because we believe it's a way for people to touch and feel and really understand sort of these things are real. I mean, what, what we've been doing all weekend is revving the cars. Like people think they're fake, they think they're props. And actually they're not. They are vehicles that were created for the films, but they are functioning cars and it just makes it real and that's we love that we love taking these stories and these characters and bringing them to life in every way shape and form and so as an experiential experience bringing the um the batmobiles is great well this is truly exceptional what dc and warner have decided to do here you know working in that shop it was just shy of having retinal scanners the level of security around the batmobiles is incredibly high and at a pretty high level they decided that we're really going to open it up this is south by we're going to give people a different experience we're giving them access to the vehicles we're going to let them in kids are skidding in the cars which is absolutely unheard of we don't let people in the cars in our shop. We don't allow photos in our shop. And they really open it up to the people and let them in and it's been a really positive experience. I'm really enjoying it and so are they. There are two forms of unique and distinct American art. Art forms that really were created here. The first one, jazz, American. The second one is comic books. And a lot of people don't realize that comic books are an American art form. And so being in Austin is one part of, and one piece of being part of the fabric of America.